If they do not slaughter a, a maybe a god, they don't get a breakthrough. But you want to thank the Lord because when Jesus came, he shed his blood. Satan remained in the old to cut the to, to slaughter the animals. But when Jesus came, him himself they had to slaughter him. And then he shed his blood. There was no way he could stop it. Just give a mighty hand up to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where is your breakthrough? Born again. When you are in your in your in your in your lifestyle, where is your breakthrough? What do, what are you supposed to do in order to get your breakthrough? There, there are walls that are standing in between you and your breakthrough. But it needs you to break those those walls so that you get into your breakthrough. Because they are walls. The walls are strong that even though you look aside, even though you look east and west, even though you look on the right and the left, the walls are still in front of you. It needs you to have the strength and the power so that you can break through them. And then you go through them like a conqueror in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today I've come to tell you that whatever that has been standing before you, that wall that has been standing in front of you, before we leave this place, we are going to break it in Jesus' name. We are going to break it down. Whatever that was being a stronghold, it is going to be destroyed in Jesus' name. If you believe in a man up to Jesus, I do not, I do not serve, I do not serve in people who are just silent. I need people who are vibrant. I want you to be, I want you to be mad in Jesus Christ. Let us become mad in Jesus Christ. So that they may say that they are born again to are there who are mad. They pray a lot and they make noise. But they don't know that the shouting There is something that is going to descend The Bible says in Joshua That the Israelites They had suffered a lot Many years They were very poor They used to They used to they were slaves. Praise the Lord. That whatever they wanted were in Jericho. That even though you wanted to eat chicken, it was in the war in Jericho. But when you reach Jericho, there is you just stop on the way. You do not you don't have any way to pass. Even though you say that let me just maybe jump over. There are people who are having bows and arrows. They will not allow you to go through. You maybe want to dress well. But when you want to bend yourself down and go to a boutique, you find that there is a wall that is standing before you. There is, there is a wall that is standing before you. You do not have a way through. The children of Israel suffered. The, the situation was too much they didn't know what to do but I want to tell you I want to tell you good news today there is a God who gives you strength that whatever that has been hidden 
You are going to break through. They will scatter in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that they went around the world, the, the Jericho world seven times. They went around the city of Jericho. The first time they went. The second time they went. The third time. The seventh time. The Lord showed them that you shout a lot. And then you you drum. Drum you will see the salvation of the Lord. Praise the Lord. When they tell a point again that shout hallelujah. The point again says hallelujah. You do not know that to shout there is victory. Let them, let them ignore you. Let them abuse you and they say you are mad. But you know that you are a conqueror. When I am there and I say hallelujah, I feel like even repeating it again. I have a pastor friend who told me a testimony. He said that, that he prayed to God that if he gets a chance to board an aeroplane, when he enters the aeroplane inside he will make an hallelujah he will shout an hallelujah seven times but what surprised me when he entered the aeroplane when people were acting in English the spirit of the Lord told him the spirit of the Lord told him that if you shout hallelujah seven times won't you be a, like a mad person would they tell you to get out of the aeroplane everyone is quiet but for you, you are shouting in the aeroplane. They will say that you are mad. That this one should that this one should remain. In, then when he entered inside, he just had to shout hallelujah in his spirit. The children of Israel, they reached a situation. They were so scared. And they feared a lot. They could not go close to the miracle. Fear was too much in them. One day, I was here in Kampala and I didn't have a job. I used even to fear to go and ask for a job. One day I was writing my, my documents and organizing them. And then I went to a company where I was ask, ask, asking for a job, applying for a job. When I reached the reception, I feared and then I went back with my paper. I did not apply. Fire! Fire! <laughs> the following day, I wrote another one. I went to another office. I, I reached the gate. I knocked the gate and then he asked me what do you want get man I, I feared to ask to, to tell him what I wanted and then I had to be strong and I said what can me I entered inside I got a lady at the reception and then I gave her my documents. She asked me a question. Have you seen uh, when we have advertised? Did you see us advertise any jobs? Fire. 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 The children of Israel suffered 
They wherever they go, they even did have what to eat. But their riches, their riches, they were there. But to reach to the riches was the problem. You think I didn't have a job? The job was there. But to get the job was the problem. The devil, what he does, he brings you fear. And then you fear. And then they tell you that go and reach that gentleman, he's going to help you. And then you fear to reach the person. Praise the Lord. There are some things that we fear to prophesy. There are some things that we fear to enter into. And yet our breakthroughs are there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today I want to show you this. I, do, I may not read the scriptures. But uh, the scripture that we are in in 2 Kings. From uh, chapter 5 from verse 1 to 14. No, it is in Joshua. Sorry. Joshua Mukaga Rusoka. Joshua chapter 6 from verse 1. It speaks about the walls of Jericho. There are things that are surrounding us. But it needs us to be powerful and strengthened. So that we can overcome them. What strength and uh, what power are we supposed to be dressed on? When, when, you, when you talk about power, someone may think going to the gym. Someone, then someone will say, okay, let me go to the gym and be strong. Let me go and learn how to go food. That one you're just going to do it because it is in the flesh but the power that I'm speaking about it's the power of God the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 11 that let us dress up in the full armor of God so that we can overcome the enemy this one I am speaking to the youth. The youth in many times there are very many things that come around us. Even the way to overcome them. Praise the Lord. Temptations come towards us. And we cannot overcome them. Because we are not dressed with a full armor. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. A sister comes and then she overcomes you. The grace of God leaves you. Praise the Lord. The brother comes. And then he finds that you're not dressed with the Holy Spirit. The grace of God you have has left you. We pray that let us be dressed. Where is your breakthrough? Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to read uh, in 2 Kings chapter 5 from verse 1. I read the English Bible to Mary. If you have an English Bible, please read for us. 2 Kings chapter 5. 2 Kings chapter 5 from verse 1. Verse 1. It says, Now Naaman was commander of the great army of the king of Aram. 
He was a great man in the sight of his master mm -hmm. and his high and his highly regarded. Mm -hmm. Because through him mm -hmm. the Lord had given victory to Aram. Mm -hmm. He was a valiant soldier, but he had leprosy. Mm -hmm. Verse 2. Mm -hmm. Now bands of raiders from Aram had, had gone yes. out and had taken captive a young girl from Israel. Yes. And she served Naaman's wife. Mm -hmm. She said to her mistress, yes. If only my master would see the prophet who is in Samaria, yes. he would cure him of his leprosy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me read for Luganda. Hallelujah. Mukama yari awende onsuri onwangula Eira yari yari musajja wamai muzira Na hii yari mugenge Awo awa suri Bali bata 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 this young girl who was staying in a man's household she was an Israelite she was staying in a man's house but a man had leprosy I think this young girl had seen when a man had undressed himself I am speaking about where is your breakthrough You may find that there was somewhere you are going But there, there, your breakthrough is not there Your breakthrough There is where your breakthrough is you, you just need to have the power so that you undress yourself from that that has dressed you so that you get into your breakthrough praise the Lord Naman was an elderly man he had money he had he had power and authority. He had, he had riches that he could go in, in, anywhere he wanted. He had access even to the king. He could even, he could even maybe stay in the king, in the, in the palace. Praise the Lord. He could even chat with the king. He could even he could even head maybe like he, he could even reach maybe a hospital and then they tell him what his illness is. But that was not where his breakthrough and healing is. There was his breakthrough was not there. I think he tried very many things many people had given him options but things had failed but I want to tell you today you have tried many things things have failed there is a man of God there is a, a little girl in Israel there is a little girl who, of Israel. There, there was that that man from Israel. There was a prophet in Israel. That is what he says. That is where your breakthrough is. Hallelujah. Amen. If you believe, just give a mind and clap to Jesus. There is a church in the hill there. It is in a tent. There are some young girls and young boys who, 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 who are there. 
And you, when you see them there is your, your healing. When you reach their church, and when they praise and worship, there is breakthrough. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. They have feared. Let us read that English. Verse 4, it says, Naaman went to his master and told him what the girl from Israel had said. By all means, go, the king of Aram replied. I will send a letter to the king of Israel. So Naaman left, taking him with him ten talents of silver, six thousand shekels of gold, and ten sets of clothing. The letter that he took to the king of Israel read, With this letter, I am sending my servant Naaman to you, so that you may cure him of his leprosy. Praise the Lord. Naaman had access to the high priest. He had access to the king. To the king of Syria. Amen. But if you do not have access to any king, you cannot even reach the LOC one. You cannot even reach your MP. To, to write for you a letter where your healing is. I want to tell you today you have access with the king of kings he is the healer of all praise the lord as long as you reach him that is where your healing and breakthrough is that is where your breakthrough is let us look read Verse 14. Verse 14 says, So he went down and dipped himself in the Jordan seven times, as the man of God had told him, and his flesh was restored and became clean like that of a young boy. Give my hand up to Jesus. It needs you to just give honor to the word of God. You need to give honor to the word of what the, the pastors say. When they tell you to shout, you shout. When they tell you to fast, please fast. That is where your healing and breakthrough is. Naman thought in his glory he's going to stand before the king. The king places his hand on him so that he may get healed. There are some things there are some things you not wait for a hand to be placed on you. There are some situations you cannot even explain it to your pastor. There are some situations you cannot even explain it to your mother. But you need the Spirit of God. You need Jesus. The King of Kings. What will He tell you? When you do it, you get you, your breakthrough is with you. God can tell you. Give me money. Get money. And give the ones who do not have. And then you get delivered. It doesn't need deliverance. There are some things that do not need deliverance. There are some things that do not need fasting. There are some things 
You are just supposed to go to the prophet of God. And then he tells you, go and do this. Go and pray for people. Go and pray for the sick in the hospital. He, he will deliver you. That is where your breakthrough is. Your breakthrough is not far. Your breakthrough is with you. You may be in a situation of poverty. But it is you making yourself to be poor. God wants you to do something. When you see that the, maybe the, the poverty has become extreme, just go before the Lord. Ask the Lord, what should I do? Your breakthrough is not far. It is between you, it's near you and between you and God. God is not far from us. It is us who are far from the Lord. To reach an extent that you need to sort yourself. And then you come back to Him. That is when you will start working in your life. Meditate upon your breakthrough. What has been standing between you and your breakthrough? What has been heavy before you? Everyone has something that has been heavy in between him or her breakthrough. But your breakthrough is next to you. Maybe your breakthrough needs forgiveness. God wants us to forgive. That is that one only can deliver you. You may be there and maybe you got annoyed of someone because he or she did something bad to you. But your breakthrough just needs you to forgive so that you can be a victor. Your breakthrough is next to you. It is in Jesus Christ. You have access in Jesus. If you if you if you prepare yourself and organize yourself before him, you will see the victory of Christ Jesus. You need to have peace. The devil sometimes hits us. The first thing that the devil can bring in your life stress will bring you stress. Even though you enter into prayer with stress, there is no impact you will get. If you enter into prayer and fasting with anger, it is useless. The devil will be beside you, far away from you, laughing at you. You will not get your breakthrough. But when you give yourself peace, there was a prayer that I entered into. But when I started like this, the enemy arose. People were stolen. People got sick. I stood in God. The devil can bring something that will take you far away from God. He holds you by your. He holds you by where you feel the pain. And then you move out of spirit. 
One day I was at work. A gentleman came and was preaching the gospel. He was an elderly man and his gospel you couldn't deny it. But when he was still preaching to us, someone called him. When his phone rang, it was a world song. Everyone who was there, even the phone again, had to wonder. Whatever that he was speaking on phone, he was speaking about being in the bar. And then I asked myself that where is his victory? You may be there and you are preaching the gospel and praying. And then things are not well. Victory has not shown up you need to organize yourself with God humble yourself before the Lord and then you realize that he is your God you will see your breakthrough you will see the glory of God upon your life something it does not need speaking tongues and shouting. It needs you to just sit down. Just sit down. And ask yourself that what is the situation before me? Maybe someone promised you something. But uh, a, long, a long period of time has passed by. You ask yourself that what has brought it, what has brought this thing to delay? Why me, the child of God? Even in your heart inside there, your inner man, meditate. What have you done that is not right before the Lord? Search yourself. You will see the victory of God upon your life. You will see the glory of the Lord upon your life. You will not remain the same. When Naaman, when Naaman wanted the voice of the law, the, the, the prophet, of the prophet, he did not remain the same. He was first stubborn. He said to himself that me with all my might and glory, how can I dip myself in the river Jordan? For me at my place, I have uh, streams that are looking nice and beautiful. But now this Jordan where there is a lot of dirt, soil and everything. Praise the Lord. Sometimes maybe the Lord has spoken to you and you, you, you deny that very thing that you feel that is nice and you're holding on to it's the very one that is tying you to your breakthrough my first expensive phone that I bought before I bought it 8 pounds in Juba I really loved it so much. One day, we were in church. The Spirit of the Lord told me to give it to the pastor, the preacher. I said, Hi, you are joking. I cannot give it to 
someone, I really love this I woman. I refused, I sat on the chair, I said, I cannot do it. I said, I think I have some money, maybe I give him money. The Spirit of the Lord still insisted and said, that phone. When I could turn left and right, it was the phone. I even moved out of church and but still my spirit was still ringing the phone but when I I humbled myself and gave out the phone I felt I was at peace there are sometimes there are sometimes things that are co-parenting. But it needs you to to just uh, take off and shake off things in your life. God bless you. As I'm still in this anointing, my time is done. There are two, two or three things I need to speak about. That I believe that whatever that you the things that we shall do, if we do them, we shall not remain the same. We need our words. We need flowers. We need two flower pots. I am not saying that you bring it now. We are not going to write you down. But I want someone, I want someone to pledge and say that me, I will bring one vet, one pot. You, for you, when you see a blessing. Yes, Amen. Let us stand up on our feet. Uh, 
Yeah, he's the one who knows what is next and he knows it. Yeah, he's the one who knows what is next and he knows it. Let us give a mighty hand up as we invite him. Amen. Give a mighty hand up to Jesus. Serving the Lord and ministering is not easy. Many cannot stand. They just tremble. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us sit down blessing at Samuel. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I have listened to the word of today. Let me see what if you have Learn something, please raise your hand. Amen. There is something that I've learned. That if there is anything that you want good, it is in the wall of Jericho. Amen. But to find it is very hard. Some of us are in that 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 situation we are still chained and bound there but it depends on how do you fight the battle to get whatever is in Jericho those men, the children of Israel surrounded the walls of Jericho seven times they were praying and fasting amen these men of these men prayed they prayed because there is something that they wanted this is what I want to tell you if you want something from God God, for God to do it for you and you feel that you want God to do it for you you need to make a sacrifice you need to pray and fast you need to pray to, to, to reach and see that the walls are broken down so that you can get whatever you want but if it's not that, we are still bound. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This scripture, this goes for me, I have gotten something. Hallelujah. Amen. He has spoken about the children of Israel. That is the example we are in. What are you bound in? In poverty. Are you bound in lack of getting a job? Are you bound? Maybe your children are bound. This thing, it, it means very many things. You are there and you are bound. Amen. But this, the children of Israel were bound. But they reached unto God. And God led them to their breakthrough. Hallelujah. Amen. Even as our breakthrough, it is going to depend on your prayer. I told you that we have started prayers on Friday. On Friday is where we, we, we call we tell God our, our challenges. Because on Sunday we do not have time to pray for what we want. But the Lord blessed Friday. Everyone comes here and prays. Amen. And then you pray unto God about your issues. 
The Bible says that there is nothing that can go without prayer and fasting. I want to encourage you to come. Hallelujah. Let us give a mind answer to the youth pastor. May the Lord continue to give you the grace. May he continue to anoint you. Amen. To preach the word of God. May you preach beyond. Amen. 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 I am going to close. Our pastor sent us greeting. Give a my answer to Jesus. God gave her a church, a ministry. Amen. Wherever she is. Today they have given her the opportunity to minister. We were at home. And then she told me the, the, the gospel she's going to preach today. She asked me some things. <laughs> and then as she was asking me, she again started preaching unto me. And then I just told her the Holy Spirit has taken over. Go and preach. Amen. Today, right now, she is preaching. Her first time to minister. Amen. I believe that many souls are going to be delivered. Amen. Amen. Joan was. Joan had gone for a mission. Amen. 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 This lady had gone for a mission. Hallelujah. Amen. This season we may see mission. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Let us stand up on our feet as we pray. On Wednesday we have Bible study. Who gave us the program to do? He's going to. When I get done with prayers, you come and go through the program again. Just lift your hand up. Just thank the Lord. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your presence. Your presence was mighty. I believe that people have been delivered in every because the Bible tells us that we enter into grace and then we get out with grace. Father, I believe there is a, a man and a woman whom you have already blessed. Thank you, God. I just want to hear you thanking the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you for the word. Because it has delivered me. Thank you for the word. Because it has not left me the same. Thank you for the word. Thank you for a pastor. Thank you, King of Kings. Father, again, we are leaving this place. I pray, Lord, the Bible says that in Exodus 14, you put, you put a sign on in before the, the Israelites and then you put a pillar of fire in the night for them what does it mean Lord that you were guiding them that you had put your protection upon them I pray for every gentleman and lady here that as they are leaving this place that let your pillar of fire protect them as they are going protect them as they are going 
Protect them as they are going. Protect them as they are leaving this place. In Jesus' name. And everybody says. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, yes.